We're talking to Jordan Paisley here at Lagavulin Distillery. Jordan, thank you for your time. Oh, thank, you. thank you for being with us at Whiskey Expert. Um, you went to school here in, in Isla, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. I've loved my life most of my life, so yeah. Uh, did you ever imagine become distiller manager of Lagavulin back then? No, no, that never entered my mind at all, no. Um, I think even when I came back to Isla um, to do this job, I don't even mm. think I thought I'd have a chance there, so I'm really proud and very honoured to get the position. Yeah. So what was your career before you got into whisky? Uh, before I got into whisky, when I left um, high school, I joined the Merchant Navy. So I worked mainly in the North Sea um, on supply ships, so I'd done that for several years. And then a bit of a kind of change, um, it was like anti-piracy. So if you've ever seen the film Captain Phillips about pirates coming on board the ship, the company that I was involved with, we prevented that. So mm -hmm. done that for seven or eight years, um, mainly working out of Gulf Aden, around Somalia, that sort of area. So I really enjoyed that. Um, very good experience, lots of different elements of like how to run a company. And then I just kind of got the feeling that I was wanted a change and always really admired Diageo and thought if there was ever an opportunity to kind of come back home to Isla um, and then very fortunately a job came up uh, mm -hmm. when I got before this role um, the performance improvement lead and I applied and I got it and I was ecstatic to get to come back to Isla and it just um, it just seemed to kind of all fit perfectly with how it was all working so that was good. So what was the job description before you became distillery, distillery manager? Here? Yeah so it was performance improvement lead so you're involved in well, across the groups of the Port Elm Maltings, um, Kilila and Lagerville, mm -hmm. looking at projects of how can you improve efficiency and different things and supporting with the capex and then supporting just the managers on site. So it was a really good role because you're getting to work across the group with mm -hmm. all these different people and some great managers, some really good experience. So that really helped me. So I've done that for two and a half years. And then um, so obviously got the announcement that Perrick was handing in his notice and he was leaving. And I thought, I've, I've got to apply. It's too good an opportunity not to apply, you know, so uh, I thought I need to go for it. So and what, what's the difference between your previous job and being a distillery manager? Um, obviously you're on the one site, you're obviously mm. the iconic lag of villains, so it's slightly different. You have, um, but it's more day-to-day -day running off the site, um, working with the operators, whereas my other role, you're between different sites, maybe a bit more like working between the sort of projects. So for me it's quite nice, you're focused on lag of villain, you're focused on getting the best of what we can do. So no, it was a good change, you know, it was a good sort of um, step up for me. Yeah. So if somebody doesn't know Lagavulin or gets into whiskey, which uh, dram would you recommend for them? Well, you might already know my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I would always say the 16 year old. Okay. Um, I always got the story, uh, my wife and I, we got married three years ago and uh, we had Lagavulin 16 that was in the quake that we shared with our friends and family and it's my favourite drama and it's probably if someone said to me I would point them in that because I know mm -hmm. it's a good drama, I know that they're going to enjoy it so it's that's the one that I would go for and say to people that's where I would start. And how would you describe the distillery style of Lagavulin? What makes it different, uh, different from other distillers here? Um, I mean just obviously for me I'm, I'm coming at, I'm coming on the back of it's iconic Mm -hmm. it's, it's you know it's already it's built its name it's you know and it is built in the back of this incredible mm -hmm. drama as a 16 year old so i would sort of say that that's a big pull for people because it, with my previous job of getting to go around the world i've been able to look behind bars and see bottles of lagerville and and when i've maybe had clients out i'm actually able to very confident be like I'm from Isla, that builds mm. up a conversation, right, let's have a dram. And I know if I pick that light one 16, they're never going to disappoint them. You know, I just think it's a, it's a really good balance, a really good one to show people. It's got a nice peatiness to it that I just, I don't know, that good level of just sort of introducing them to Isla. And, mm. you know, and I know, you know, it's one that they can enjoy and it'll stand up against others in the market. So it might be fair to assume that the 16 year old is your favorite drum from Lagavulin as well? Yep, yep, I would say as I, just as I say with the memories of obviously having it um, at my wedding and stuff, I think it's just got kind of special, for me it's got quite mm. a special sort of bond and tie to it. John, thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time and looking forward to see you again. Perfect, thank you very much.